guys, it's Kalila. Um, while we are away from each other and while we're somewhat separated, I did not want you to miss out on keeping up with your practice. So I'm creating a short video for you, just a nice little flow that you can do while you're at home until we're able to get together again. Um, I hope that everyone is doing well and I miss you all immensely. So we'll just start in a comfortable seated position, resting your hands on your knees and beginning to turn your attention to your breathing, taking a deep breath in and a long breath out and another deep breath in and a long breath out. And we'll just bring our hands beside us, sitting up nice and tall. On your inhale, sweeping arms up high, gaze looks at fingertips. As you exhale, bringing hands to heart center. We'll inhale, sweeping up. And exhaling, bringing hands to heart center. Inhale, reaching up again. As you exhale, twisting to the left. Left hand comes behind you, right hand to left knee. Taking a deep breath in, lengthening through your spine, and as you exhale, twisting a little more. Gaze maybe comes over your shoulder. And we'll inhale, reaching up. Gaze looks at fingertips as you exhale, twisting to the right. Right hand comes behind you, left hand to right knee. We'll take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, maybe twisting a little more. Gaze coming over your right shoulder. And we'll inhale, reaching up high, gaze looks at fingertips as you exhale, taking a forward fold, coming as far as you comfortably can, honoring whatever space is available, making sure both hips stay on the mat, taking a deep breath in, lengthening through your spine, maybe you look at your fingertips as you exhale, maybe folding forward a little more. Taking another deep breath in, lengthening through your spine, as you exhale, allowing your body to melt into the pose. Walking our hands over to the left, maybe feeling that along the right side of your body. We'll walk them back to the center and then over to the right. This time, maybe feeling it along the left side of your body. Coming back to the center. And then slowly walking your hands back up until you're in a nice soft spine in a comfortable seat. And we'll switch out our legs, whichever leg in the front, sending it to the back, knowing that our legs or our hips are usually more open on one side than they are on the other. So you may notice some differences as you switch your legs out. We tend to cross our most open hip in the front first. So it may feel a little different on the side. It's perfectly normal. We'll come back to our comfortable seat, resting our hands beside us on our inhale, sweeping our arms up high, gaze looks at fingertips. As you exhale, bringing hands to heart center. We'll inhale, sweeping up. As you exhale, bringing hands to heart center. We'll inhale, sweeping up. Once again, this time as you exhale, we'll twist to the right first. Right hand comes behind you, left hand to right knee. Taking a deep breath in, lengthening through your spine. As you exhale, maybe taking your gaze over your right shoulder. And we'll inhale, reaching arms up high. And this time as you exhale, twisting to the left, left hand behind you, right hand to left knee. Taking a deep breath in. As you exhale, maybe twisting a little more gaze coming over that shoulder. We'll inhale, reaching both fingertips both sets of fingertips up to the ceiling as we exhale, taking a forward fold. Again, noticing any differences that you may feel in your hips or in your legs as you fold forward with this leg in front. We'll take a deep breath in, lengthening through your spine, inhaling to create space as you exhale, melting into that space you've created. Taking another deep breath in, lengthening through your spine, and as you exhale, folding forward a little more. And we'll walk our hands over to the right. Seeing if you can keep that left tip on the mat. There's a tendency here for it to lift up, but we want to keep it planted into the mat. Coming back to the center and then walking our hands over to the left, keeping that right hip on the mat. 
and we'll come back to the center here, taking a deep breath in, and as you exhale, folding it forward. Tucking chin to chest, slowly coming up, one vertebra at a time, allowing chin and gaze to be last. Now you have two options here. You can fold over your legs, coming into your tabletop on all fours, or if you like, you can come from your comfortable seat, uncross those legs and swing them around. There's no wrong way to get into tabletop. Bringing your hands under your shoulders, spreading your fingers nice and wide, bringing your knees underneath your hips. And on our inhale, we're gonna drop our belly low, sending our gaze up high, sticking that tail up toward the ceiling. And then as you exhale, rounding it in, tucking chin to chest, scooping tail forward. We'll inhale to drop belly low, sending gaze up high. And as you exhale, rounding it in. Continuing this a few times at your own pace. Maybe you find it feels good for you to bend your elbows as you lift heart and gaze. Maybe you find as you exhale, bending those elbows, tucking chin to chest and scooping tail forward. Doing what feels best for you here as long as you stay connected to your breath. Taking the time to notice each part of the pose on your way into cat and your way into cow. And at the bottom of your next breath, coming back into a neutral spine. And if you like, separating your knees slightly, bringing your big toes together, sending your hips back to your heels, reaching those arms forward, coming into a child's pose. And just taking a moment here to take a deep breath in and a long breath out, allowing your forehead to connect with the mat. Taking another deep breath in and a long breath out. And we'll walk our hands over to the left once again. And then coming back to the center and walking them over to the right. Coming back to the center, taking a deep breath in, inhaling to create space as you exhale, melting into that space you've created. And then we'll slowly walk our hands back in and just coming to a seat on our thighs. Now we can stay here for just a few moments. You may begin to feel this on the front side of your thighs. Maybe you feel this in your ankles. If at any point it becomes uncomfortable, you can always come out of it, taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. And another deep breath in and a long breath out. And we'll bring our hands back underneath our shoulders, coming into our tabletop, making sure we have enough space, taking a deep breath in. As you exhale, we'll tuck our toes into the mat, lifting our hips, coming into a downward dog. On your inhale, sending your right leg high. As you exhale, we're gonna step that right foot forward to our right thumb, making sure our knee and foot are in line with each other. And then lowering your left knee, shin and foot to the mat. We're just taking a moment here, allowing our hips to melt forward and down. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. Maybe walking your hands up to your knees, allowing your shoulders to stay away from your ears. Bringing your hands down beside you, we'll inhale, reaching up. Maybe taking your gaze up and back and then bringing our hands down to either side of our front foot. Taking a deep breath in here with the bent knee. As you exhale, straightening that front leg, maybe folding forward, lifting your toes, and we'll inhale to bend, and exhaling to straighten. Inhaling to bend once again, this time bringing your right hand to the inside of your right foot, allowing that knee to open out to the side. Planting your left hand underneath your face, taking your right hand to your right thigh and on your exhale, just twisting slightly. Coming back to the center, foot comes back to mat, hand comes to either side of your front foot, tucking your toes on your left foot, planting your hands and stepping it back, sending that right leg high if you like. Bringing that right foot back down to the mat. 
We'll take a deep breath in and a long breath out. On your next inhale, sending your left leg high. As you exhale, stepping that left foot forward to your left thumb, taking as many steps as you need. And when you're ready, lowering your right knee, shin and foot to the mat. So we're allowing our hips to melt forward and down once again. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. And then bringing your hands to your knees, allowing your shoulders to melt away from your ears, bringing your hands down beside you. Inhaling to sweep your arms up high. As you exhale, maybe taking your gaze up and back and then slowly coming back to the center, bringing your hands to either side of your front foot. We'll take a deep breath in as you exhale, straightening your front leg. We'll inhale to bend and exhaling to straighten. Inhaling to bend once again and then bringing your left hand to the inside of your left foot and allowing that left knee to open out to the side. The side of your left foot comes to the mat. You should be able to see the sole of your left foot. And then bringing your right hand underneath your face. Left hand comes to left knee. On your exhale, twisting your upper body to the left. And then slowly coming back, bringing that foot back to the mat. Hand comes to the outside of your left foot. Tucking your toes on your right foot, planting your hands, stepping it back, and then sending that left leg high, bringing your foot back down to the mat. And we'll bring our knees down to the mat, sending our hips back to our heels, coming into our child's pose. And again, you have the option of separating your knees, allowing your body to drape through so that your forehead can rest on the mat. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. And another deep breath in and a long breath out. Finding your way back into your tabletop, planting your hands, taking a deep breath in as you exhale, tucking your toes, lifting your hips, coming back into downward dog. And this time we're gonna walk our hands back to our feet so that we're at a forward fold at the back of our mat. We'll inhale here, lifting halfway. Exhaling the fold. Inhaling to reverse swan dive. I may leave the camera for a bit. And then as you exhale, bringing hands to heart center. We'll inhale to reach up. As you exhale, taking a forward fold. And then we'll walk our hands back out, coming into our downward dog. Bringing our knees down to the mat, untucking our toes and sending our hips back to our heels, coming back into a child's pose, separating your knees. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. And a deep breath in and a long breath out. Walking our hands back in, coming into a seat on our heels, dropping those hips over to one side, and then just swinging your legs around. So we're back in a comfortable seat, this time with our legs extended, and we'll inhale to sweep up. As you exhale, taking a forward fold. Coming as far as you comfortably can, taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. Tucking your chin to your chest and slowly coming back up, one vertebra at a time, allowing chin and gaze to be last. And we'll bring our right foot to the inside of our left leg, bringing our hands beside us, sitting up nice and tall on your inhale, sweeping up. As you exhale, we're gonna take another forward fold. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. Slowly coming back up. 
and we'll do the same thing on the other side extending our right leg and taking our left foot placing it on the inside of our right leg hands come beside us we'll inhale sweeping up flexing those right toes toward your face as you exhale taking a forward fold taking a deep breath in and a long breath out Tucking chin to chest, slowly coming up, one vertebrae at a time, and extending your left leg, and we'll go ahead, shaking them out. And then we'll bring the soles of our feet to the mat as we prepare for our boat pose, bringing our hands to that space behind our knees, walking your feet in, leaning back slightly while still keeping your heart and gaze lifted, and then lifting your feet off of the mat. You can extend your arms if you like. We don't want to collapse into it, but we want to keep everything lifted. When you're ready, bringing your hands to the space behind your knees, feet come back to the mat, extending your legs and folding it forward. Slowly coming back up. Preparing for our second boat pose. Now you have two options here. You actually have three. You can walk your feet back, keeping your hands here or you can release your arms and extend your legs. So this is option three, option two, option one. Keeping your heart and gaze lifted. And when you're ready, wherever you are, bringing your feet back to the mat, extending your legs, taking a forward fold. Slowly coming back up, bringing the soles of our feet to the mat, Hands come to that space behind your knees, and we'll just slowly slide our hands down our thighs until we end up on our back. Soles of our feet are on the mat. This time, bringing the soles of your feet together, allowing your knees to open out to the side, allowing your hips to relax. Staying here for five breaths. And when you're ready, bringing your knees back together, bringing your knees into your body, giving yourself a hug, maybe taking your right hand to the outside of your left knee, extending your left arm out beside you, and we'll just guide our knees over to the right, coming into a twist. So the idea here is to see if you can keep that left shoulder on the mat while your knees go over to the right. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. And then coming back to the center, I'm gonna scoot over just a little bit, bringing knees into your chest, right arm extends out, left hand to the outside of your right knee, guiding your knees over to the left. Maybe taking your gaze over your shoulder if you like. Taking a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And then we'll bring our knees back to the center, giving ourselves another hug. Maybe bringing your forehead to your knee. Bringing your head back to the mat, soles of your feet come back to the mat and just staying here for a few breaths or if you like, you can extend your legs on the mat, whatever is most comfortable for you. Allowing your feet to turn out to the side if you like. And we'll just take a moment while we're here to scan our bodies from the soles of our feet into our toes, the tops of our feet, into our legs, our knees and thighs, filling into your hips, your seat, working your way up your spine, into your shoulder blades, your shoulders, filling into your collarbones, relaxing 
your arms, your elbows, your forearms, spilling into your wrists, the fronts and backs of your hands, the spaces between your fingers, all the way down to your fingertips. And maybe you begin to notice the movement of your belly as you breathe in and out, noticing the rise and the fall of it as you take in breath and as you release it. Filling into your heart, maybe noticing your heart beating from the inside out. Sending that awareness back into your collarbones, working your way into your neck, relaxing all of the muscles in your face, noticing if you're holding on to any tension in your jaws. Maybe you notice that the tongue, your tongue is sticking to the roof of your mouth, maybe parting your lips slightly. Maybe you begin to notice the temperature of the air, the coolness of it as you breathe in through your nose and the warmth of it as you exhale through your nose. And just closing your eyes without squeezing them shut, relaxing that space in between your eyes, relaxing your eyebrows, relaxing the muscles in your forehead. And maybe you notice how the back of your head feels as it's supported by the mat and the ground beneath you, noticing where your body connects with the mat and with the earth. And then bringing your awareness to the crown of your head. Taking a deep breath in and a long breath out. And when you're ready, Maybe coming over to your side, using your arm to support your head and your neck, coming into fetal position. Taking another deep breath in here and a long breath out. And then slowly making your way back up to a comfortable seated position. Again, whatever that looks like for you. Resting your hands on your knees. We'll take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Bringing our hands to heart center. Ending with gratitude. Gratitude to our bodies for all they offered us. And gratitude from me to you for allowing me into your space to practice with you and to guide you through your practice. It is my hope that you are safe, that you are healthy, and that you are well. And until we meet again, the light in me honors the light in all of you. Namaste.